crazy temperature swings, and science guy Steve Spangler is here to explain what it means for our tires. But why would we explain before we can play? Yeah, you let's play, play first, first, and then, then you, you explain. explain it. And hopefully at the end it all kind of comes together. Something sticks. You know, I took a, well, first of all, put your safety glasses on when you do okay. that. I've got liquid nitrogen because we're going to talk about how things can be expandable and compressible. So we're okay. going to talk about those molecules. This is liquid nitrogen. It's 320 degrees below zero. So we're going to need some liquid nitrogen to be able to, uh, to do some of that. And then I went to your desk, and you know how you always have fresh flowers oh, delivered every yeah, day? Right. Yes. So just pick one of the fresh flowers that's uh -huh. delivered every day. Oh, that's so perfect. All right, so let's just show now, if people are unfamiliar with the, some of the properties of liquid nitrogen, you put on your glove. Right. Fair enough. If we dip the liquid nitrogen down, or the, the flower down into the liquid nitrogen, this preserves the flower for the longest time. The unfortunate part is it's just pretty fragile. Here, reach out and squeeze it. Would you do that? No, just squeeze the flower. Oh, yeah, squeeze hard. Oh, there you go. Perfect. See? It's gone. That was, gone. That was beautiful. And it happens so fast. Excuse the reach. It's just so fast. Here, Kim, give me another squeeze. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Give me a squeeze. Ah, look at that. So Crunch perfect. It. So perfect. All okay. Right. So we know what we can do to those uh, to materials. It, it, it just an instant kind of freeze, right? In fact, take your glove off. I think okay. you're going to be safe with uh, your glove off. Look at this. Oh, Here's sure. our rubber band. So which <laughs> okay. hand do you use the least? Uh, left. <clears throat> Hold out okay. your left hand. All right. <laughs> so just for insurance purposes. Okay. So watch this. See the rubber band? All right. Yeah. So here's our rubber band. If I stretch the rubber band like this and now put it into the liquid nitrogen, it instantly freezes the rubber band. At that point there, it's now frozen. So watch. I'll stay right here. Look at this. As we take it off, look at the frozen rubber band. Now hold out your hand. Uh -huh. Here we go. Here's your hand. Here's your hand. <gasps> look at this. <gasps> look at this. It's starting to come to life. The heat from your hand. Is, and you're perfectly safe. So it's, it's warming up very, very quickly. What does all of this have to do with the tire pressure? And that is that things can expand and contract when they have change in temperature. Right. right? So it matters when we do things to our tires. It does. So let's talk about air. So now you know that the the rubber will recover right, right. From, from this. And this is super cold. Of course, our temperatures are never like this. So watch what happens when I take a balloon. <sighs> All right, okay. so this is my breath. So watch what happens when it gets super cold. And for this, I am going to put on this glove because I want to make sure that my fingers don't touch the liquid nitrogen. Fair right. Enough. So if I put it in here like this and I'll hold it right here, watch what happens as it comes down in here. A lot of kids cover their ears at this point because they think it's going to pop. But if you look at it, watch what's going on here. It's contracting. Yeah. So here's what happens to your tires. When there's a change in temperature, your sensor light goes on because you wake up in the morning, it's cold outside. Those molecules of air have contracted. Now, of course, this this air is my breath, but it still will contract very, very nicely. And the air in your tires will contract as well. And so your sensor goes off because it meets that threshold. But if you look at this, look at the air that is our, my breath right here. Take a look at this. And now I'm going to hold it right here. Look at this. It actually is turned into a liquid. If I hold it here like this, can you kind of see here? Yes. See in the bottom there, my breath yeah. is now a liquid. Look at that. So my breath is turned into a liquid, it expands, now and now expanding. it's turning back into a gas. Now, it never is, of course, this extreme in our tires. But what you need to know is that your sensor can change very very quickly, quickly back and forth and what you don't want to do is you don't want to add air, air on a super cold day so in the inside of your door many times there's a little mark there that says what you should do for a tire inflation when it's really really cold uh -huh. outside but you don't want to add air it's just your sensor going off saying hey listen it's cold remember it's a simple science experiment when it gets cold contracts yes. right and when it warms up it expands, it expands. see how that works Okay. And if you come to my house for dinner, guess what you're going to do? I would come over and I'd give you some tricks. So here's tricks. See how yeah. you do this? And then you use liquid tricks nitrogen with your tricks. Now hold okay. out your hand. All right. You tell them about the website and I'll okay. saute these, okay? okay? Okay. All these experiments on 9news.com, on the website, will, and you can look for Steve's crazy experiments. And I know I get to taste okay, these, ready? all right? So now put these do in I your mouth. All okay, of ready? them? All of them in your mouth. Now try. Mmm. 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 Mmm.